Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial, otherwise known as Bucket, bucket Plugin Tutorials. Now this week, actually it's not a plugin tutorial, this is a tutorial on Bucket itself, and it was suggested by Darkhawks, the co-admin of the fan server. So go ahead and check out his uh, YouTube channel. Link is in the jibbles below. He's a great dude, helping me out a lot. And he showed this to me on how to make custom aliases and commands in bucket so before we get into it just want to remind you guys if you're joining me the first time feel free to hit that subscribe button because i do these every week and these wednesday ones are starting to be just quick ones that i come across just really quick and easy this is probably going to be under four minutes i'm guessing anyway um and then if you have a suggestion for a plugin you'd like to me to do feel free to comment that below i capture those and we'll give you a shout out if i do that but please do a quick search on my youtube channel i've done close to 100 of these tutorials it's possible i've done that one that you're thinking about and that probably helped so anyway what you want to do is when you fire up your bucket uh, server, you're going to look for this commands.yml file. And then you right click on that, open up in Notepad++, not Notepad because that looks like crap. This looks much better. It's a lot easier to see. So I've already kind of filled this out a little bit. These two I use on my fan server. And this is just a way that you can create aliases or custom commands in bucket without any plugins, which is really cool. Um, if you're using it for really basic stuff, um, it works great. It, it's it's pretty powerful too. So I use this lobby one. So if you put this in, this is going to be it's going to give the user slash lobby, and then it's going to run this command warp lobby. So you have to still set the warp that you want them to use. They still need to have the permissions to run this command because if they do not have the permissions to run this command, they won't be able to get to it. So I know some aliases out there will allow you to run the commands from the console with bypassing permissions. Um, this doesn't have this functionality. This is just how it works. So they still need the essentials.warp uh, or essentials.warps and then essentials.warp dot this or whatever. However, you have your, your permissions set up. So this command also allows you to pass uh, variables to it by using this uh, dollar sign and then a number. So you can use multiple variables per alias. Um, you just got to use a different number for them because they will reference each other if you use the same number. And then um, if you put a hyphen at the end, this means it's going to be returning something, printing that out. Um, so we'll go over that. This actually allows you to do a lot of cool stuff with Essentials custom text, which I will do next week as suggested by um, Mr. Flaky, and I'll give him a full shout out next week when I do that tutorial. Really cool. Thank you so much for showing this to me. So I share it with everybody because it's so neat. Um, so the variables, so what this command is gonna do is uh, if you run this command, give D, you got to put in one, two variables. So the first variable is going to be obviously the username. And then it, um, this is the item ID for diamonds. And then the number. Well, this, that's how we're going to run it. So what this is going to do is it's going to give whatever username I put in there, diamonds, and then the number that I put at the end. So, and then... If you want to do multiple lines to an alias, you can do multiple commands, you can do multiple says, you can do all that stuff. So then it's going to be say, give, um, it's going to use this variable, username, and then the number of diamonds for this amount. Now you need to put a backslash in front of a, a dollar sign if you don't want to use it as a variable. That's how it negates that out of there. So you can then also put a double dollar sign in there. And what that means is that that uh, variable is required. Um, I don't know that that's just that's what it is. So let's get into the server and just see how this goes. I think um, I like to see how it works. That's how I learned. So I'm just going to put this up on the screen when we hop in the server so you can compare and see it. So let's hop in there. Okay, so here we are on the server. If you uh, recognize this, it's because you're a big fan and this is the tutorial I went over last week or the server from the tutorial I went off over last week. But anyway, um, the commands, remember the special warp commands? We got uh, shop and then we got lobby 
And then the big one that we were we were kind of playing with is the give D give diamonds uh, username and then the the number. So as you can see here, it's giving nine diamonds to me. That's the first line of that command. And the second line is um, announcing it out. The server gave um, that variable that number. So remember that's the one and two for nine thousand one dollars. And then it's showing the dollar sign because we commented that out. So then we can just keep. You know we can run that like crazy and it's just it changes that all the time which is really neat so yeah like i said it's really cool i'm sure you guys can have some fun with it to play with um some more commands if you have some fun ones that, that you come up with that you think other people would enjoy feel free to comment those below use the paste bin so that people can just copy those and post them uh or uh and use them on their servers so I'd like to see what you guys come up with. So I'll check over those and tweet those out um, if if those are really neat. But anyway, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you found that helpful. Feel free to leave a like below, comment that you said that you liked it or whatever, and share it on t the tweets, the tweeter, and all that business. Yeah, so this is Kaz from McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Wow, this is a pain in the butt to make. Uh, this these upside down stairs and these ah, are you kidding me right here